Greetings, and welcome to the Film School. I'm Joe. And I'm Chris. And tonight we're going to be talking about uh, the big Marvel movie that just opened up last weekend, broke some box office records. Of course, I mean Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. I don't mean that at all. Actually, we're going to be talking about Avengers Endgame. 22 films, man, and, and 11 years. 11 years, yeah. It's 11 years. years. It's crazy. So I felt like this was kind of a... Uh, sort of almost self-congratulatory not a but like hey we've reached year 11 we've done 22 movies it's the culmination of all of that yeah, i felt it's like the went out with a bang we're gonna give a quick like non-spoiler just uh what we love you know just how we felt about the movie uh without giving anything away and then we're gonna let those of you who uh have seen it stick with us for the spoiler portion of the show where we will uh just just give everything away. Just let it all pour out. There's a lot to talk about, man. 181 minutes. Plus, if you guys haven't seen it yet, <laughs> come on. Just lacking. Just get on it. It's <laughs> it's the event thing right now until the next one. But uh, yeah, 181. You were this is the longest. Yeah, it's the longest Marvel movie yet. 180. Yeah, 182 minutes. Three wow. Hours and two minutes. And it, uh, it really didn't feel like it was that long. There was just so oh, much going on. So much. Yeah. So make sure you don't drink a lot before you go because you definitely don't want to <laughs> step out because you'll miss, you'll miss something. Yeah. <laughs> you got to relegate your beverage intake so you don't have bathroom breaks because I suffered through the whole thing. I think for about the last 45 minutes, I'm like, yeah, yeah I got to go. Mm-hmm. Legs twitching. So but you know, if you buy the popcorn, it drags your mouth down and then you're drinking a lot. So, I, you know. Salt. Just saying. Yeah. Bring some fruit. <laughs> buy, buy a pickle. <laughs> I'll make you thirsty, too. I don't know what to tell you. But quite, a, quite an awesome film uh, as far as uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe goes. Um, I think one of the most enjoyable, but that's because, again, it's payoff for like 11 years of loyal viewership. So uh, um, even even some nods to some of the television stuff, too, I thought was, uh, was very cool. Like, it was very big. A lot of things happening in this movie. Uh, so it basically picks up sh- um, shortly after the events of uh, Infinity War. Um, and uh, it's kind of the remaining people uh in the avengers are you know trying to fix this trying whole to, uh, time yeah. thing or not time but this whole spoiler this whole thing with uh thanos what he's done with the uh, everybody's in ashes like dust in the wind dude <laughs> that's my bill and ted's kansas Just yeah dust in the wind yeah anyway so you like it though you had a good time no, I loved it. I thought it was great. It was definitely like one of the m- most emotional Marvel movies. Yeah, I think it was a lot. It tugs at the heartstrings. Yeah, it really does. It's an emotional roller coaster for sure. Yeah, there were a few times I was sitting there going, "What is the salty discharge? How is this? Uh, how has this affected me this way? It touched me right in the feels, as they say, <laughs> as the kids say. I don't know." I'm an old guy, so what do I know? But uh, it's hip to be square. Uh, it's a lot of fun, man. I can't believe it's been 11 years already. Well, as of May, it'll be 11 years since Iron Man kicked off this whole franchise. And I think that uh, it really, really tied everything together quite nicely. Yes, it did. Very nice. It sets up some major changes uh, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens... Um, where the directions are going to go in now, which characters are going to wind up getting uh, their own movies, and uh, whether or not this will affect the Marvel properties, the the Netflix Marvel properties that you know basically got canceled. Because um, I don't think Disney Plus is going to be bringing the series over, but they say they're not done with those characters yet. So who knows? Part of me wished that in the last Inf- Infinity War, just amidst the giant battle sequences in New York and stuff you'd see like you know Daredevil or like Punisher like just mm, but no or Luke Cage Luke Cage yeah. Jessica Jones all just <laughs> some Danny Rand 
But no, I think this is an enjoyable, again, it didn't feel like three, actually it was probably more like three and a half hours with trailers because I think I only missed the first couple, three trailers, but I mean, it's usually 25, half an hour, 25 minutes, half an hour of trailers before the movie. So it's kind of, plan on um, being in the theater for a while, but again, once the movie gets rolling, it just really doesn't waste any time. Um, even with the emotional moments, it didn't feel like it slows down and, oh, you know. Yeah. So overall, I'm giving it a, a three and a half out of four stars for sure. Three and a half? Three and a half. I'm giving it four. Are you? Yeah. Nice. I really liked it. Because uh, non-spoiler right now. So um, now we're going to get into spoilers because we got to talk about why, you know, you four stars, three and a half. So from this point on, spoilers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't really know where to begin there was so much that I thought was uh, exciting but I, I just felt like the, the third act was where it kind of fell into the you know giant battle mode that you get in these movies where it's right. just kicked up to the everybody's charging in and doing their thing which is cool but uh, and I guess that's the way these things are supposed to end but I just kind of felt like there was a little reliance on the uh, do sex machina there at the end but it's <laughs> It doesn't really matter. There was some plot holes and playing around with time, but it doesn't really matter because overall, I, I still think it's nearly as good as Infinity War. Yeah. 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 I'm bummed. No more Steve Rogers. Right. No more Tony Stark. No more Tony Stark. No more Black Widow. No. No more Vision. And does that mean that Hawkeye is retired now? Kind of feels like he is. Kind of felt like it was pretty much everyone besides maybe Thor from the original crew and Falcon, obviously, and War Machine there sticking around, I think. I hope. I know well, we, Falcon's now we really Cap. Marvel, Marvel should do like a, a Ronin spinoff, but I don't know. I think with Clint as Ronin. Yeah. If they did one, that would be kind of cool, but it did with with everything they did with Changing Time, it, it he his family doesn't they're back so he doesn't go down like unless you just did a film of it set during that five years right. you know from where the movie starts and then where it picks up that would be kind of cool like some side stories see what was happening with while the earth was kind of yeah so the Russo brothers you guys should do one of those next yeah that'd be cool it'd be kind of like a born Marvel movie right just well, well, kind of like what DC's doing with Joker so yeah yeah um yeah, I kind of expected that for some reason I felt like this was going to be Robert Downey Jr.'s swan song in the MCU. I don't know why, I just... I, maybe it's I kept hearing rumors or... No, yeah, you did talk about that. It does, you know, and then I kind of started thinking about it. And like, yeah. Just yep. too bad. It's I don't, I don't think we'll have anybody else play Tony Stark for a while, but eventually, eventually, folks, somebody else is going to pick up that mantle because they're going to relaunch this whole... You know, you know yeah. as long as they sell, they'll figure out a way to 20, keep 30, the movies. 2030, you know, they'll relaunch the whole thing. With the X-Men in the same continuity right. now. Since uh, since Disney has absorbed 20th, 20th, 20th Century Fox, man, that's scary to me. You underestimate the power of the dark side. Ever. <laughs> mm, you should just be loyal to the Empire. You should be like Steve Rogers. America, dude. Steve Rogers is my uh, one of my favorite characters in the MCU because I love Captain America, and I'm cool that they passed it on to Captain to America's badass. Falcon because Falcon does become Captain America for a while in the actual comic continuity a few years back. I don't know if he still is because I haven't read it in a long time, but um, yeah, uh, it was sad to see those guys go. But I loved Fat Thor. Yeah, fat or <laughs> self-loathing Thor, <laughs> looking like the Lebowski. Just not giving a, just not giving a shit about anything. <laughs> no, nope. he was done. It was awesome. Good job for Chris Hemsworth too to be able to, you know, take his character into that kind of direction. Right. Just be cool with it. I mean, you know, it's all prosthetics yeah, and everything. He's always like, but, yeah, like uh, Mr. Six Pack yeah. buff, and now he's like this. <laughs> I think, I think there were some people that were disappointed by that, that, you know, like to look at the, the abs. But I thought it was hilarious. 
and it worked. And what they did with with Hulk with Banner, yeah. that was very clever. Uh, the fact that he's kind of a, a consciousness between the two, right? You well, know, we kind of figured out the happy medium yeah. between the two. The motion capture in it was good. A lot of motion capture in this movie too. I noticed, but I'm cool with that because, like, seeing a, a de-aged Stan Lee looking, you know, like he did in his 50s in the 70s, I thought was great. And then uh, who else did they mess with? Um, not Tony Slattery. Is uh, is, oh, is that his name that plays Tony Stark, Howard Stark, older Howard Stark? John Slattery. Uh-huh. Yeah. They didn't do anything with him, but... Some of the other characters going back in time and the whole time travel thing and all the digs of Back to the Future. And yeah, it has a lot of references to Back to the Future, clever ones. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. I, love, I love Paul Rudd. So basically for me, like, it, it really, the movie was in, highly enjoyable and it just paid off in so many ways because I loved, like, Back to the Future 2, you know, it goes back and references earlier movies and plays around with that. Um... Uh, which I get a tremendous kick out of figuring out how they we worked it in. I was so happy of the amount of uh, characters from the show or from the film series that have returned for this one. I mean, it's too bad Paul Bettany wasn't in it because Vision's gone. Uh, but to have James Darcy there as Jarvis from the Agent Carter TV series made me very, very happy. And just, just the fact that they, they really, I feel like they put everything into this. It was kind of like... I heard Kevin Feige talking about how in the beginning they were just hoping to get Iron Man off the ground and just get that into theaters and just hoping it did well. And I feel like that it, this was kind of that to the 10th degree. Like, you know, now we're going to truly honor this whole decade's worth of um, cinematic universe, which I think is a first. And I think uh, uh, to have such a shared continuity for uh, so many different series of films is I, and in the film industry, it's a first, right? Never been anything that widespread. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. There was just for me just a little over reliance on the Deus Ex Machina and a few cliches at the end, a little bit of predictability towards the end. But other than that, right. it's a damn good time at the movies. Um, yeah, again, three and a half stars for this me. This will probably be uh, the biggest, the biggest summer movie, and it's not really even summer yet. But mm-hmm. but it was shot. The cinematographer was a uh, Trent. Opalash, I don't, I don't know how you say his name, but like he did he do Infinity War? Um, no, but he did like Winter Soldier. Oh, okay. And, and Civil War. A uh, nice. And then he worked with, he shot all Neil Bloomkamp movies too, District Nine mm-hmm. and Blomkoff's movies. Yeah. Okay, so and Elysium and Elysium. Chappie. And Chappie. Okay. I am Chappie. Yes, you are Chappie. But you know, it looked nice. You know. Yeah. I thought it was shot very, was well done. Yeah. I got this kind of feeling during, uh, again, spoilers, during Tony Stark's funeral, you know, scene, which is beautifully shot with the camera just kind of dolling past all these characters. Each character, you know, right. Yeah, that, I noticed that, too. I, yeah. I liked that scene a lot. And in a lot of ways, I felt like that was, the, you know, the sort of cast giving a farewell to Robert Downey Jr. since none of them would essentially have these roles if Iron Man hadn't been the success it was you know, nearly 11 years ago, so I felt like it had a double kind of, it's paying homage, or paying tribute to the character who's passed within the continuity, but also to the actor who's leaving, and kind of his importance to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, thanks Robert Downey Jr. Because honestly, I mean, if Iron Man hadn't have been the success that it was, because it it did better than The Incredible Hulk, um, I don't think we would have this whole thing happening now. So... Yeah, good job, buddy. I wish I knew the guy. Like, teach me some martial arts, man. Who, Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah. 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 Karate chop to the neck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I I definitely recommend seeing it while you can in the theater. I'll probably be seeing that again before it. Let's do out. that. Yeah. Let's go see it again. Let's go see it again. Comment, comment and let us know what you thought. If you enjoyed it, if you hated it, um, what your thoughts on it, where you think the future of the, you know... MCU might go. Um, and as always, like and subscribe. Yep. And thanks to Chris for being on the show and <laughs> talking about Avengers with me. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I think that means uh, 
most people could tell I'm a little loaded.